Okay, so today I am going to be taking you through uh, a setup that I've done recently with Microsoft Forms and Microsoft Flow, uh, in which we're looking at a common business issue, a time consuming issue, uh, which is new user inductions and getting people set up on systems with the relevant permissions uh, for folders and applications and everything that needs doing from a payroll sense uh, when a new user joins the business. <clears throat> so I've looked at a way of making this as, as efficient as possible. And I'm just going to take you through exactly how I've done this uh, as an example. So here we can see a new starter information form. This can be completed by um, somebody in the uh, HR or people department or uh, by the employee themselves, uh, potentially. So we're going to go through and create some data on here. Okay, uh, first name and surname, job title. The reason that a business might want to collect a personal email address uh, is something that's private to them, uh, for example, for electronic payslips. Uh, we're going to choose a start date for employment so that we know when to get the user, user account set up for. Uh, what department this person belongs to. So let's just choose accounts. Uh, are they a line manager? Uh, personal uh, emergency contact information, such as emergency contact name and a potential emergency contact telephone number. Okay, for paying the uh, employee their salary, we're going to need a bank sort code and account number. Okay, and when I submit the form, See that that's been submitted. If I go over to my flow, you'll see uh, I have an approval process. And you can see now that the request has come through, new start request for Wayne Rooney. Uh, I might be the HR manager or the director of the business. And the reason we've got an approval request is because I've created a flow which will create user accounts on systems. We don't want that going through without authorization. So if we just approve, and confirm approval. Okay, the request has been approved. And if we go back to my flow uh, and look at what's happening with this, see it's already completed. But this is basically doing the job of um, inputting the information onto a, uh, a database, uh, which we can see here. So we can see the information has been captured, uh, first name, surname, the date that they started, or due to start, personal email address, uh, the department they belong to. It states that a, an Office 365 user has been created. That's because within my flow, I actually have a task once approved, which creates a password using some information um, from the company, uh, the name and the current year as a temporary password. Uh, and it goes ahead and it creates the user account uh, for that individual. Okay, so if we have a look in my Office 365 portal, so it's created as an Office 365 account for the user. What you'll also notice is that it has added um, that user account to the accounts uh, security group, uh, which we chose for their department. And if we take a look at the email that was sent to this individual, you can see that we've got a welcome email with the username uh, of that individual. And if we also look at the flow, it has also sent a text message with the details for the password. Furthermore, uh, I've also got uh, another flow, which I've set up here to disable user accounts when the users left the organization. Okay, to show you that in action, if we go to uh, user database, 
where it records all information about users that have started. If I edit this user account and specify a leaving date, again, let's say that's today, and I hit OK, and I save that. Okay, there is now a leaving date. Okay, we can see now that the user has been blocked from access uh, as the flow has run and has disabled the user account. Okay, we can see here that it went ahead and disabled the user account for Wayne Rooney and has also updated uh, on the database to show that the employee has now left the organization and that the user account has been disabled. Hopefully you found that demonstration useful. Um, it's quite a significant um, setup on the flow, um, but it's something that uh, in reality only took around an hour to complete uh, and can save uh, hours upon hours uh, of time consumed by an organization onboarding and offboarding uh, employees. Uh, similar routines can be done for things like customers uh, to help with the communication with customers on onboarding as well. I hope you found that useful uh, and um, just comment uh, if you'd like more guidance on how to accomplish uh, these kind of tasks. Thank you and I will catch you soon.